Let's start recording. All right. All right, uh, Holy One, it looks like we are uh, a bit live. Um, before I do a formal introduction, we will talk. Um, I see it. I'm, I'm going to pull up YouTube right quick. Oh, a I lot see of people it. going live right quick. Um, live. Oh, yeah, for Tango's live, too. Uh, fuck for Tango. But um, I think <laughs> Spawn Wave is also live right now, too. So, uh, All right, cool. I just got all the places I want up. up so... <clears throat> Bingo. Let me share this. I got, I got it up on my screen. <clears throat> there we go. And bingo, we are here. All right, so Holy One, uh, you uh, you asked about doing this, um, was it yesterday or two days ago? Uh, yesterday. Yeah. After yeah. I watched your last stream. Oh, uh, yeah. So um, Holy One got some... Um, a, a, a different take and i'm here to, to learn is well in regards to um the xbox series x i'm always excited to talk about anything xbox related so you Absolutely. guys know i'm that's i'm not gonna run away from that but it's cool to hear from you know no different people different takes um this chart that's behind me is what everybody's been talking about. I mean, I, yep. I shared a tweet about it just to get, and people were upset about it because honestly, yep. I want some confirmation and you have information okay. in regards to it. So I want confirmation. I want to know what's okay. going on. What is this? How legit is this? I'm pretty sure this is what Dealer was referring to. This is what Mads yep. is referring this, to. This is what everybody's referring to. Yep. And I kind of, and I see some errors ba uh, of what's supposed oh, to yeah. be announced, but obviously I'm not the whiz here. So, um, <clears throat> you right. uh, uh you are so like yeah. break it down holding on what's going on what's going on all right so before we start this uh smooth have you what have you been playing for the year to start you've been playing a lot of gears dude i haven't played all right it's, <laughs> wait, what are we four days into 2020 i played yeah. i played gears already i played halo already did, did you play um what was it um ghost simulator with daughter that game i be, i played him that game it has some sadistic stuff in it man yeah, yeah um <laughs> the thing is my I, I i downloaded it on my um daughter's um sad and you know she found it fun because it was you know it was very easy to play very quirky yeah. it does dumb shit stuff but what happened was um i noticed something and i didn't <laughs> like it i was like i told her hey don't yeah. go in that area no more just because it's, it's, it's bothering you and then yeah. she called me uh this morning she was like hey i want to get out of this place <laughs> and i go in she's in like so in this crazy temple i was like all right we're deleting the game because this is just too much so yeah, like, yeah. I, I have a little uh adopted brother who's like 14 but he's yeah. you know he's like he's got the brain of like a six-year-old because he's like disabled yeah so i was thinking this would be fun to play but i platinumed it i know i beat i'm an adult so i don't really care about that stuff yeah, but yeah. as a kid who's very sensitive to that stuff i don't want him yeah seeing that <clears throat> and playing that sort of thing it's just it's comedic fun for adults. That's why I think the game should have been rated T. So like yeah. people say, oh, it's a teenage game. It's, yeah. <laughs> but one game I went back and played to that I beat years ago and got all the achievements in back on yeah. um, Steam was Rice on a Rome. Oh, um, oh yeah, 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 I dude, I, I, I still have I put up a video about that too. Uh, the funny thing is, um, I you know I have a Radeon Seven, so obviously it's a four K graphics card. Yeah. So I fi I was like, all right, let me see because I had I played it at fourteen forty p on my twenty eighty. So I decided to re uh, beat it again. I fired it up at 4K, maxed out the settings, um, overclocked my Radeon 7, so it was way it was way above my RTX 2080, or at least above it, or a little close to it. Yeah. And I was getting like 70 frames per second, maxed everything at 4K. And I was like, I was blown away. I was like, this is amazing. Like playing that at 60 was like different because like when I, I had a shitty laptop when PS4 came out, that's what I played Rise on because yeah. I didn't have an Xbox One at the time. Yeah. Because I had to spend my money in college to get a PS4 at first, so I was like, All right, I'll wait on the Xbox One because I did buy like six Xbox Ones this generation, including the X. Time and time, most of them. I didn't. Re I didn't trade them in or anything. They just kind of broke on me. I just don't know how. Like it was like the disc drive for some reason. But I beat it again. I thought I was like, ah. Oh. The only thing I could say that looks downgraded is the character models. You know that one girl with the two swords. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> fight her uh, as a boss. Bodica, Bodica. Yeah. Yeah. She drives the elephant. Her yeah. character model is ugly. But yeah. If you look at you, if you look at your character, yeah. he's beautiful. He looks yeah, yeah. great. Yeah, that's what they did. Yeah, there's like the, char and the, the characters and they the wanted ca you to focus on, like Mary. Yeah. Is uh your and right hand man say, his parents um yeah. they were detailed very well but like 
some characters weren't obviously like the the repeat enemies weren't detailed very well in either. Yeah, uh, and the yeah. um the trees and the distance were kind of eh because they kind of looked okay, but everything else they I think they focused on the sh like what's in front of you, like what you're looking at yeah. more graphically than what's you know out there. Maybe like on the docks and the sea looked really nice. Yeah. Um, and they covered up like the the dirt and stuff with trees, so you didn't yeah, really see. Yeah, they like, did a lot. They did a lot of tricks to, to get it. That's why I wish they yeah. uh, would have enhanced it for the Xbox One X, um, just to see how. I mean, the much the more... X the X is using. Um, <clears throat> you know, we'll get into that um, when we do the tech talk about the, yeah. the PC stuff. But the X, um, um, I my brother has. Um, he had a 970, which is close to like a 580, what the Xbox One could do, mm -hmm. and. And I told him, I said, doing 4K 30 is easy. Like 30 frames per second is like easy to achieve if yeah. you have like, yeah. And I said, um, I remember he only has like four gigs of RAM, VRAM. And I said, I said, let me, um, I said, fire Bryce on a room, see if he can do it 4K 30. He, he didn't like care for the game. And he was able to do 4K 30, like medium settings ish. And I said, I said, doesn't look good. And he's like, well, like, and then I said, down sample it to 1080p. And I said, it doesn't look good. It does look good. <clears throat> um, but yeah, nothing really. Uh, I'm probably gonna my the, the next game like I'll probably yeah, finish well, Life is Strange and then I'll probably mm -hmm. the the next major game I'll play after like finishing yeah. Life is Strange is probably the next uh, Dark Siders. Yeah, uh, I did beat Mad Max as well. Even and, and I, for some reason when I went back to play it again, I didn't like it. I just didn't care for it. I don't like games like that for some reason. It, Mad the Mad Maxes the the Just Cause. I and tried playing Rage Two. It's just these guys. Rage these Two I liked because if you if you just focus on the main story in Rage Two, it's just boring. But you gotta do the side stuff. That's mm -hmm. why I liked it. And the gunplay was really fun. Um, and then and and I platinum Rage. I got all the achievements in in um, <clears throat> what was it? You know, whatever the. I lost my train of thought with that, but yeah, I got all the achievements in that Mad Max game just just for the heck of it. <clears throat> Yeah, yeah. I tried playing Mad Max. I wasn't a fan of it. Uh, nah, like, nah, nah. But um, speaking of Radeon Seven, I wanted to look at the list. Um, you see, the you relative see. performance chart is inaccurate about the Radeon Seven because if you think about it, this thing's on par with a twenty eighty, yet its percentage is lower. And um, I do own a twenty eighty Super now, which I uploaded some videos back on my channel a while ago. Mm -hmm. And the Radeon, the twenty eighty Super is like let's say, see, it says one hundred twenty percent faster than Radeon Seven. But if you look at games like Gears of War Five, which use async compute which is basically a technique that gives you more performance out of, you know, the uh, asynchronous compute is basically um, Pascal had a lot of performance, but they increased um, clock speeds. Like, you know, it says 2000 megahertz on the, on the, um, the pieces five. Mm -hmm. My old 1080 Ti could do 2000 megahertz, no problem. But the problem is it's, is if you look at Vega, um, it's architecture had stuff under it, like asynchronous compute and the temporal stuff which they took custom parts out of the Vega cards and put into the PS5 on uh, PS4 Pro. Um, the PS4 Pro's dual Crossfire GPUs used um, it was still Polaris, so it was still like the 580 tech in there, like the 480 and stuff. But the thing about consoles and they could think so. Let's say um, the PS5 specs are like this, right? So let's say um, it's still using the old Navi, but they could take parts out of Navi 2 and put it in the old Navi, like ray tracing. Let's say it's still using Navi 1, right? But they take the ray tracing tensor cores and put that in the old Navi. <clears throat> they did that with the PS4 Pro for that, so they could get like the um, scaling features that weren't available on the um, 580 and stuff like that that the PC gamers have. <clears throat> All right, so break this down for me. All right, so um, yeah, so basically the Radeon 7. If you like, I, I did. I if I if you. Um, if you go on Bank for Bug PC Gamers channel, mm -hmm. he overclocked that to 2,000 megahertz, and that thing's already close. And I put I put up a video on my channel where I overclocked my Radeon 7 to the limit, and it was beating the 2080 Ti in some games. It beat the it beat the 2080 Ti in Division 2, and it's up on my channel. I post the charts mm -hmm. and stuff over there. So if the Radeon 7 um, is overclocked correctly, because um, what AMD does is they turn the they basically overclock all their graphics cards. They put them all the way up. Same with Vega, they turned up the the wattage all the way up, so it's taking as much power of the wall as it can. And then if you undervolt it, means it telling it to take less power, it can achieve higher FPS. That's why the Vega 64 now can compete with a 1080 or even beat a 1080. And that's why the Radeon 7 should be probably at 115% on this chart, pretty much. That's the only thing I could say <clears throat> about it, because the Titan X Pascal is old, and so is the 1080 Ti. That's old architecture. And the problem with um, people say, and I'll get into this right now. You know, Jensen came out saying, oh, the 2080 is going to beat next-gen consoles, right? Yeah, yeah. 
but he was but Jensen loves to bullshit on everything. He he said that the laptop version of the 2080 is going to be consoles. The thing about laptop GPUs, their max Qs or whatever, is a laptop GPU is 10 10% 8 to 10% weaker than a desktop version of that. <laughs> oh, okay. So I'm... he him saying that is kind of weird because if you look at it the 2080 so you have the 1080 Ti, then you have the 2080, which is an overclocked 1080 Ti, then you have the 2080 Super, which is another overclocked 1080 Ti again. So they're basically taking a 1080 Ti, which is a four-year-old card, and just overclocking it and giving you like the ray tracing tensor cores, which the the funny thing about the tensor cores is they were never meant to be for ray tracing. Yeah, okay. So what happened was is um, you can go watch the guys I mentioned. You can watch Moore's Law is Dead or Not an Apple Fan or Hardware in Box. They talk about this stuff is what happens is nvidia releases these gpus and they want them to be for servers and you know, they want these to be server cards okay and if the silicon isn't good so jensen's like okay i got all the silicon that isn't great how can we sell these to the consumers and make it sound like it's a new revolutionary tech ray tracing ray tracing has been around so they decided to use hardware accelerator ray tracing by forcing these tensor cores to use ray tracing even though these tensor cores were used for ai and stuff learning like that for these servers and then they wanted to take a they didn't want to take a loss on this so they increased the margins to like twelve hundred dollars where they just built a new tier so the old tier was the ti was going to be you know six hundred seven hundred dollars but they decided to make the ti the new titan card which was twelve hundred dollars and if you want the world's most powerful graphics card it's twenty five hundred dollars it's the titan rtx so <clears throat> If we look at the um, what the PS5, these leaked specs are showing. Um, let me think here. Um, it's supposed to have 36 compute units, which the compute units, um, if you look at it, the Vega 64, which came out in 2017, that had 64 compute units. Um, and stream, the reason the 2080 Ti is, you know, the fastest card isn't because, you know, the Radeon 7 has faster VRAM. It's got more VRAM. Um, the reason it's faster is it has more streaming processors. And these processors, the more streaming processors... And the 2080 Ti could have been literally um, way stronger. But the thing with NVIDIA is they, they only want to use um, 250 watts out of the wall. So if the 2080 Ti could take like 350 watts out of the wall, it'd be way stronger than it is right now. Okay, so like this has been this has been shown like the um these guys literally ripped the 2080 Ti apart, um made their own 2080 Ti and said, look, it's way stronger now that we have it able to use more power. These guys over in Europe did that. So the reason I think they're not going with Nvidia is because Nvidia power limits their graphics cards, and the reason they're doing this is because they're winning. There, there's no question asked. Like for every 5700 XT sold. Uh, a 2070 Super probably sold four more than them. <clears throat> it's just brand recognition. They're like the Apple of graphics cards, basically. All right. So I, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm not even gonna pretend to, because you gave me like a, a history of what RTX and all that, what they, yeah, that, that shit. So, so basically, to explain yeah. it, Nvidia's been ripping people off with these prices. Like, um, but what's interesting about CES, which is happening to on uh, Monday, yep, is. Um, the rumors are big Navi supposed to be shown, which might, well, it's probably, let's say it's going to be called the 5900 XT. Mm -hmm. What's interesting is it's, um, it's die size. Um, as you see, you see the PS5 five DI size that says 251, right? Right there on the screen. Yeah. Die size 251. Yeah. Um, this thing's die size is supposedly going to be twice, is supposed to be like 532, which okay. means, the, and, um, the 5700 XT's die size is like, you know, it's like 200 and something. So why would they want to make the die size bigger? The thing is, people are thinking they're going to put the tensor, they're going to put the ray tracing, you know, stuff on there mm -hmm. so that they can do their own ray tracing. And the console versions, you know, they got to they got to keep up on price and stuff like that. So the PS5 is probably going to be more price focused compared to Microsoft. So just like with the PS4 Pro, they're probably going to use, you know, Navi 1 instead of Navi 2. And just like with Polaris on the PS4 Pro, they got some of the Vega Tech put into the the Vega cards tech into the um, 
the PS4 Pro. So they're probably going to put some of that ray tracing tensor cores into the PS5. If the PS5 will do ray tracing, that's the question. If they're going to do oh, it. Oh, well, Mark Cerny said it will. Like, yeah, some, so like they, some... they're confirmed. It. Then they're going to put mm-hmm. it in there because I um, remember when Mark Cerny released um, announced the PS4 Pro. Mm-hmm. It was just like random. He's like, look how it scales with PS5, and he kind of touched basis on like what um what Vega was going to do, um, and that. You know, it was gonna have that Vega stuff in there. So like they like these manufacturers are all gonna um do all that sort of thing. So we are um so I'm gonna confirm this was confirmed today. I was watching uh at Not in Apple's fans um mm-hmm. video today at lunch break and he discussed that TMNC, um the factory that produces AMD stuff, um mm-hmm. AMD's going with TMC to produce seven nanometer. So TMMC is ramping up production of either these four things, the next Zen, which will be Zen four. Mm-hmm. The next-gen consoles, probably next-gen consoles, um, big Navi, or the new Epic processors, which will have, like, 64 cores, you know, like, um, that's crazy, like, 64 cores is, like, way out there, but, and then they're going to release a 32-core consumer chip, so, like, you know, if you want to do some crazy 32-core, you can do that, like, yeah, like, like, and getting an 8-core Zen in the PS5 is going to be cheap now, because you can get a 2700 Zen processor for $135, 8 cores, and that they could compete with anything Intel's got for way cheaper. <laughs> um, so looking at the wattage, that's probably f- correct. The 150 watt, because um, here's the thing: the 150 watt is probably uh, see where it says board design 150 watt. I think that's inaccurate. I'm going to tell you why because okay. the fifth, um, yes, the Radeon 7 consumes about 250 watts of power overclocked, but that's AMD's version of like the 2080 Super. The 5700 XT is using the new Navi stuff. Whereas Radeon 7 was kind of using 7 nanometer, but it wasn't really using Radeon. Mm-hmm. I'm not not using Navi. The 15700 XT, um, pull, when what's his name, not an Apple fan was using it, he only pulled about 150 wa- 115 watts out of his wall, just running the thing on games. Do you guys actually now, if that means that if, stuff? That, like- <laughs> if that's the board power for the entire console, that would explain it. But that just says the CR says board. That's just the motherboard. That's just saying the motherboard. So that's like the yeah. integrated chip and everything. That's yeah. not including the Blu-ray drive or the fan. You know the fans that keep it. So, cool. so it's probably double that. Oh no, it, it could be less than. Uh, yeah, it, it it it's probably at least one. It, like did Microsoft leak say it was going to be like they're going to pull two fifty to three hundred watts out of the wall? Yeah, people were saying like three. Yeah. Yeah, that would probably put the that would probably because that's what the Radeon. That's just a graphics card. The Radeon Seven would just pull that. Um, it says the pixel rate, uh, let's see, it says 18 point, you know, the 9.2 teraflops. Mm-hmm. Now that's fake because that's the, we we'll see where it says 19.216 teraflops. That's exactly the same amount as the 5700 XT. So is the PS5 getting a 5700 XT? I doubt that. Cause by the time the 5700 XT comes out, <clears throat> um, the, um, AMD overpriced all their graphics cards. That's, we already know this. The, you mean the, the video, I thought AMD like have like their caught their costs like they're, they're usually lower oh yeah um uh, the, the seven nanometer is way cheaper to do because there was a leak at um you know remember when amd was showing off gears 5 running on the new navi stuff like that mm-hmm. there was a leaked image that showed that the 5700 xt was going to be called the 690 and the 680 instead of like the 580 but they scrapped the name and decided you know what hey, nvidia is charging all this money for these graphics cards why don't we charge 400 dollars for the 5700 xt well they're going to charge 450 then they charge 400 but based on but they're giving you performance the 5700 xt is giving you performance of a four graphics card graphic cards haven't been improving like last generation is it's usually 40 percent increase when it went from um 980 ti to 1080 ti it was like a 45 percent boost in performance because nvidia cranked up the 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 vram they cranked up the stream processors they cranked up all the the clock speed they cleaved the blues this clock speed that's why the 10 ti aged so well but if you look at the Turing architecture, Turing in itself is a huge leap forward compared to Pascal because Pascal didn't have the tech that Vega had, like, you know, asynchronous compute, um, this temporal scaling. That's why, AMD, yeah. you know, if you have, AM, if you have an AMD on. card, you can scale games now and stuff. I need you to convert this thing to English, dude. Uh, so yeah, basically. My, my, head, my headache is starting to return. <laughs> yeah, the, to simplify it. Think of Turing able. Um, think of um, Turing as the new architecture. It can scale resolutions better. It mm-hmm. it can scale. Te- um, async means that um, the game can utilize the compute technology, like you know, like um, like AI and stuff like that. It can take that 
async compute and just like gears has that as an option it says use turn this on to get like 10 extra frames for amd and then eventually came to turing so basically it's free performance that's what it is it's free performance that pascal didn't have that's why if you look at the radeon 7 if you overclock it you'll get the 2080 performance getting 113 and if you turn on the async in gears you just get free performance that's basically all it does it gives you free performance that's why navi has it it'll give you better it'll give you better performance in these games so um you know vulcan right you know games that run vulcan that's yeah. like you know um games that run vulcan and DirectX 12 will be able to use this whereas pascal couldn't do it as well pascal couldn't do it as good as like vega did mm -hmm. that's to simplify it for that um and um if we get into the cpu it probably will have eight cores this i could really simplify so think of a pie right you know think of a pie um think of the pie has four you cut the pie in four pieces right yes um, but then you realize it's cut in six pieces and you're asking, why can I eat six pieces? I only get four. Two of those pieces of the pie are contaminated, right? Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. AMD has another pie that has six pieces, but two are contaminated. Those two pies are called chiplets. They get put together. They get the eight cores. So the garbage silicon that doesn't go to the server because, you know, they're defective. They get sold to the consumer in consoles and graphics and um, CPUs. So the consoles will be using the garbage silicon. That's basically what they call it. It's garbage silicon. So, um, so if it's eight, um, eight cores is more difficult to do than like a six core. That's probably why um, the obviously the consoles would go with six, uh, eight cores versus six, right? Because yeah. the Jaguars were basically from like 2005 tablets. That's what the Jaguars were. They were really bad. Um, it's not that the Xbox One couldn't do 60 frames at 4K. On some games at medium setting, it's because the CPU is limiting it. Like the higher the resolution you go, the more, the less it's CPU demanding. But um, with the with um, Ryzen, you'll be able to basically with Ryzen you'll basically be able to um, play game. Let's say um, the PS5 will come out and it says you can do 1440p 60. Now the CPU won't bottle, I guess, so I can do the 60 FPS at 1440p. If PS5 wants to do that, developers want to do that. It'll be easier to do. Got it. All right. That's to simplify it for that. Um, the if you look at the memory, see where it says eight. Yeah. See the memory is it says eight, eight gigabytes. Yeah, you're that's about, right. different yeah. than what Microsoft right? Didn't Microsoft say they had sixteen? Well, one the one that says like eight is um. Uh, I think that's PlayStation, but I don't expect them to have eight gigabytes of yeah, RAM. That's device. not Microsoft um, is expecting. That's to not have, like, RAM. To that's not the RAM. That's the that? that's the VRAM. So like you know how like okay. the fifty seven hundred XT has eight gigs of VRAM. Yeah. Um, VRAM is extremely important. So like um, I'll give an example. So the reason the Radeon Seven is a way better buy than the twenty eighty right now is um, if you want to play a game at four K or even eight K, I'll give an example. I play Gears Five at eight K, ultra settings all the pc mods all turned on i got 8k 30 fps looked beautiful ran smooth that's how um consoles will be able to do it however the amount of vram it used was nine okay it used nine gigs of vram but that was at 8k but if i dropped it to 4k it was probably like seven but if you look at a game like um what was a new game that came out uh what's in a game oh um or any new um you can give me a new game i can think about it no no, no that's yeah. fine i can um um doc oh, i think uh, you're gonna go into like ultra details uh, uh, the new call of duty you know the new call of duty that came out uh modern warfare yeah i played that uh 4k oh no not i'm not gonna do it. division two i'm gonna give you the division two the division two obviously you know obviously my radio seven beat in the benchmark if you look at my video it beat the 20 ti um fps the reason it's not because it was stronger it's because it had more vram the Division 2 max settings at 4K used 12.5 gigs of VRAM. The 2080 only has 11 gigs of VRAM. See how I beat it? S sort of. Sort 12 of. is bigger than 11. So it was bottlenecked by the 11 gigs of VRAM. It didn't have more than 11. So since the game wanted 12 and the 2080 Ti only had 11, it couldn't reach that, right? So it would start to bottleneck it. Same with Red Dead 2. So if the PS5 does have, if it does come out with 8 gigs of um, available pool RAM, that's not the RAM, it's the VRAM that they're going to use in it. If it only has 8, it's going to be hard to run 4K gaming, especially with next-gen games. 
That's why Microsoft, the leak from Microsoft said they had 16. 16, like the Radiant 7. If it had 16, it'd be a walk in the park. So if the, let's say the Division 2 gets a Xbox One X enhancement and Digital Foundry says, oh, the Xbox Series X has 16 gigs of VRAM compared to the PS5's 8. Division 2 runs at 4K60, no problem, whereas the PS5 would be struggling because it's reaching its VRAM limit. All right, I got to read the super chat. Oh, um, go ahead. Tony Wood says, "What up, kids? Move! You're not watching the Patriots." You know what? No, I'm, I, I'm sorry, I am. I am, but I'm, I'm worried about this matchup. He says, uh, "Anyway, <laughs> I like to see Left 4 Dead 3, Alan Wake 2, new on the Series X. The Xbox could pull an Empire Strikes Back. What games y'all want to see?" Uh, thanks, uh, uh, Tony Wood 25. Thanks for donation. Thank um, you. I, I probably want to see uh, a rise too, because that's a game like if you know they got the CryEngine working yeah. again. Yeah. They did you see the CryEngine demo they released recently? They released a new demo for it. I believe I saw it. it uh, is, it's is, using ray tracing without the the tensor cores. Is it like based on cri- on Crisis? Um, it's based on it's a it's a new CryEngine. Um, nobody's using it obviously. But no, no, no. But like the demo that they showed. The demo you I, I downloaded the you can download the demo on your computer, um, and I tried running it with the ray tracing, and it didn't really affect performance at all. So ray tracing could be done on a software level. So like let's say uh, PS5 doesn't use tensor cores, they could still do ray tracing on a hard on a software level. Okay. They'll do it as a software. So Tony so everyone's saying Oh good. No, Tony Wood, I used to ask the games of um when to see you said Rise 2. I wanna uh what else you think? Um I would like uh to see uh Ah man, honestly, um I would like to see um Splinter Cell, I would like to see um, I'm always going to clamor for it, uh, some sort of Perfect Dark reboot um, I want to see uh, Condemned come back and then I just want to see any like these whatever unannounced um, games that these uh, studios at Microsoft um, got. Um, Alan Wake 2 honestly, um, we probably, <laughs> we may see that unless Sony buys uh, them. We know that the next Alan Wake is going to be a multi-plat. Um, now that Remedy has the IP back, uh, I'd love to see like an actual triple A Digimon game as a turn-based game, like a triple A console Digimon game, just no. to compete with Pokemon. That way, <laughs> that way people people would like want to play. But I play everything. Uh, what was that? Oh yeah, I did recently start playing again Enslaved Odyssey of the West. I just started playing that again. Mm-hmm. That would be nice. It does look really dated, but I would love to see a yeah. sequel to that. Yeah, a lot of the games, like, I remember I wanted to play Vanquish, and I started playing it, and I was like, oh, this is uh, very They're remastering dated. it. Is that yeah. remaster only coming to PS4, or is it coming to... Uh... It's Xbox. It's coming to oh, it's Xbox, Xbox well. too. Yeah, okay, I figured it was. And Bayonetta as well. Um, it's already... Been, like, they released but my the thing is, they're re- they're re- I just don't know what type of... Are, I feel like they're just going to be, like, the res boost. It's think probably be- the... P- it's prob- they're probably going to do what they did the PC. They're like, okay, here, um, unlock the settings. It's probably going to be 4K, possibly 60 on, yeah. on the PS4 Pro. Yeah. Um, it's not hard to run. Like you can run that game 4K 60 on a potato. It's not yeah. hard to run. Bayonetta maybe not, but well, Bayonetta probably. But Vanquish. I'll try, I, I like I like games like Bayonetta, so I'm. Probably Vanquish was really fun though. I tried Vanquish. Um, uh, I'll probably short, give fun. it a, give it a go again now that it maybe it won't mm. be as dated. But um, holy one, it, I could definitely see that as a Game Pass game. Oh yeah, absolutely. Oh yeah. Speaking of a Game Pass, the GTA you know, Five came to Game Pass too, right? GTA Five, but I already had it. I, yeah, I've had it. Probably still <laughs> not going to play it. I uh, bought it three times. I'm guilty. I bought it three times. Um, the Yaku- Yaku- yeah, Yakuza, Yakuza, supposed to be coming. Yeah. Uh, what was soon. remember? Remember, Colt said Yamuza. <laughs> I, I don't recall that. <laughs> but no, holy one. Uh, because the reason um why uh, we're here because you did uh propose. Oh, we'll this get to the Xbox situation. thing. Um, we, I think we're all set with this PS5 thing. The, the no, would it, just a, a quick like without like sure. going super into detail like. Is this? Do you feel personally that the, this this so performance chart yeah, between yeah. the both of okay. them are so, actually legit? The, 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 I, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Um, yeah. For Tenga's talking about it, he's saying the twenty eighty is never the the console never beat the twenty eighty. But here's the thing, though: the twenty eighty by the time the PS five comes out is going to be a two year old card using a five year old card's performance. Think about that. Okay, because it's based off the ten eighty's performance. Ten eighty Ti. Yeah, there, yeah, it's yeah, the yeah. same performance as TNTI. Okay. It's, well, not. Well, not five years. The 10 ETI came out in early 2017, so technically it'll be what three and a half years since that card came out. But even still, the <clears throat> but even still, like if if the PS5 is even close to the 2080, is that a big deal? Because it's you're considering performance of a three-year-old card. Technically, the 2080 should have been like 35 percent stronger than the 10 ETI when it's not. 
That's the problem. The architecture is better, but the the like as you like remember, it took two years for Nvidia to come out with these new cards, and then it, they didn't boost any performance. AMD released their new low end card. Remember how they can't price anything right? They released the fifty five hundred XT at two hundred dollars. That card is at that card is the has the same performance as a five eighty. And yeah. you can get it. You can get a five eighty for like one hundred and forty dollars, and that's the same G. That, that has the same performance of GPU in uh, in the Xbox One X. And you can do four K thirty on the five eighty, no problem. Oh, shout out to oh, Tony hey. Wood who says this guy seems smart. He's talking about you, um, but yeah. he's losing the viewers with too much tech talk. Y'all doing well? Talk more about possible Halo and Hellfire enhancements. Um, oh yeah, well, all right, we we could get. I mean, the, the I, tech talk is for PS Five. We can move on to the Xbox stuff. That's gonna no, be no. I don't want to get into the deep dive into the tech stuff. I just want to. I just want to know your opinion is how um, likely yeah, is this so chart, or how likely is this leak? Right, like that's see. that's that's really kind of odd. Here, and then we here's, can talk about here's another here's another thing that that gives it away that it's fake. Look at where see where it says graphics features. Guess what? Guess what it's using? DirectX Twelve. The PS Five doesn't. The, does Does Sony use DirectX? 12? Oh yeah, that's true. Um, that, yeah. It should, it should say, um, it should say Vulcan. See where it says Vulcan 1.11. Um, that should say 1.13 because that's the new Vulcan that came out. Mm -hmm. um, so OpenGL, that's correct. OpenCL, I'm not. That doesn't really matter. Um, the fact that it says DirectX 12. See where it says 12. 12.0 doesn't really make sense. It should stay at least DirectX 11. That'd make it more believable. But remember, this is all speculation, so they'd probably just put it there. They're just like here, put it there. Same with the VRAM. It says eight. They probably just put it there as a placeholder because it's just a, a placeholder unless Sony announces something tomorrow. And the same with the 9.2 T flops. They probably took what they they probably took the 5700 XT, put its T flops there as a placeholder because all this stuff is probably a placeholder. Um, right. um, see where it says 1400 megahertz effective. That's their guess. That's what they're estimating that the clock speed of the PS5 would probably be effective at 14. Um, the 14 mega, 14,000, 14,000 megahertz. So, um, oh, um, the seven animator is probably right for the, the graphics. Cause that's what AMD switched over to. Um, the die size might be smaller than that. Um, cause if, if 251, if they're not using the tensor cores that, you know, like the ray tracing cores, if they announce big, if they don't announce big Navi tomorrow, then I doubt AMD is going to be releasing any, um, radio, you know, they might just use software accelerated, um, ray tracing at that point and that would definitely if they didn't if they don't put um ray tracing hardware in the consoles the consoles could be even cheaper and just oh, use yeah. software yeah, ray that's tracing. True. um oh, it'd be cheaper all right you want to move on to the uh xbox speculation no i what oh no not not really wait, wait what speculate the stuff that's here or? oh no, no 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 this is the xbox stuff so how this is the topic of the video how how xbox series x will attract pc gamers that's this is like the yeah yeah stuff. yeah that's what i want to do because mm -hmm. like i said All just right. to give you guys heads up i, I gotta do a forewarning because a lot of people think i give a shit about pc gamers i apologize dude uh but uh, i i really i really mm -hmm. don't so this was this is holy ones take and um and I'm I'm just curious of of yeah, it, and this affects um this affects PC opinions. gamers. It affects console guys too, because like I said, my brother he's a computer engineer. He works on building chips for Intel, and his girlfriend's a computer engineer making chips for uh, AMD. And we always talk about this tech. I figured you know what I could break it down and simplify, like I did the Pi explanation. Like you know, you take a Pi, you cut it in sizes, and get the Zen stuff like that. But the next stuff we'll be talking about isn't really techy. It's just like. What Microsoft could do to get PC gamers on board, which they originally were supposed to do, but didn't do it. Mm. So this, the, the tech, the tech, talk, the tech talk is over. That oh, that's over. All right, so let us have it. All right, right I know so, gaming addicts want to come in. I don't know if you have gaming addict as a friend, but he oh, wants to come I in. can. In, um, I I don't know um, how to. I, can invite I don't know how to work him. Discord. No problem. I can send him an invite. Um, is he in Weapon Wheels thing? I I see him, Game Man Addict. I'll send him an invite. Uh. Uh, all right, I think I can invite him now. So let me do add. Wait, stupid. Here it is. Add. There it is. I invited him. All right, cool. All right, so let's get into the Xbox talk. So I was watching PC YouTubers. You guys can go watch them yourselves. Um, the one you should watch is probably Moore's Law is Dead. He mostly talked about PS5 and Xbox and what the, Microsoft can do to get PC gamers on board. Because 
Microsoft next year is in an excellent position to get PC gamers to jump ship to Xbox. I know like for Tanga can't fathom that these these PC guys can't fathom it, but I'm I'm he explained it and I'm gonna explain it again. So um what's up, addict? Oh your background. His mic's too low. Do, can I, want me to turn him up? No, 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 no. I don't think he's talking. I, I heard oh, his no, TV. I, I am oh. here. My TV's turning off. All right. Yeah. We're done with the tech talk. Yeah, I was... Uh, We're talking about... Um, I was drifting to... asleep, man. <laughs> I gotta be at work in an hour. You can't put me to sleep uh, right now. I'm sorry. I had to expose this PS5 chart as not being totally accurate because it's a placeholder, basically, was what I explained to it. So now we're getting into, like, actual talking topics of Xbox and... Um, so, I don't know if you watched Moore's Law's Dead's channel. He recently talked... I can link the video if you guys want in the chat. and you can, Not in the chat, in the, in the Discord, and you can watch it. But he talks about how Microsoft next year is in a position to get PC gamers to jump ship over there, even though they PC gamers can't really accept that. So, um... Break it, break it down. All right, here's how we... Um, here's how we talk. So, we know PlayStation is going to focus on the home console. They're just going to focus on making the exclusive. You just want to focus on the home console thing. They tried to release the PS4 Pro to compete with PC, but that was they didn't really care. They that they're just gonna stick to their lane, like he said. More as well as Dad said, PS5 is gonna stick to their lane, just do the classic console. Nintendo's gonna s stick with their crowd of just the Switch. We already know Microsoft can't, you know, overtake the home console market against Sony. That's just that's just they just don't have the brand recognition. However, the PC market is um in a state right now where graphics card prices, as I explained earlier in the video. Are, are way too expensive and AMD is at fault for this you know AMD released graphics cards that should have been hundreds of hundred dollars cheaper or fifty dollars cheaper than it should have been and um one um you guys realize you saw the trailer for the Xbox Series X right yeah yeah they I didn't show that's a good guess they they didn't show the back of the console right why not um um according to what Moore's Law's dead said um the re you you know how it looks like a PC tower right that's like Microsoft is designing it yeah um, the reason I think they're going with that design is um, they are actually going to be targeting PC gamers um, because you remember how the original Xbox came out, the first original Xbox, how Bill Gates wanted it to be a PC in the windows in the living room. And yeah, I remember that. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, and then um, Bill, and then it was divided between like I literally watched his video and he gave examples saying like, um, you know, half the Xbox staff were conflicted, so the other half eventually just said, "Let's just make a console." Because if you look at the original Xbox. It was it was way more powerful than it had to be, and the reason it was is because they wanted it to make it make it as beefy as like PCs back then, so they could be the PC in the living room. But eventually, they didn't do that, and it didn't get as many third party games as you know the PS5, the PS2 did, and it just sold. And because look, at the major exclusives that released on it, like Halo One and Two, those were on PC as well because it was supposed to be the PC in the living room. So translating that over to today, now we have Satya Nadella who wants a subscription based thing. And PC right now has the most subscriptions. It's got Uplay, it's got Origin, it's got Origin Premiere, it's got Xbox, um, it's got EA Access, and, and Valve has opened to the idea of bringing Game Pass and EA Access over to Steam now. EA Access is now coming to Steam. So all these subscriptions are now kind of mingling together, and that's why Origin's bringing their games over to Valve now. And how that translates over to the Xbox Series X is um, how is Moore's Law's Dead says it, is he believes that the back of the Xbox might actually have a plug-in for an external graphics card slot thing. Uh, I saw I saw that video. I don't believe it. Um, the th but here's how I think it would work. Here's how I think it could work. Um, it could have two modes. One could be a Windows mode, and the other could be a you know a regular Xbox console mode, similar to how Valve has the big picture mode. They tried this with the Steam machines and failed because they had 20 Steam machines. That's why it flopped. And how it would work is because you, we already know that Microsoft's bringing, you know, keyboard and mouse support to the, the Xbox where you can use the dashboard and mingle with it. Mm -hmm. And as not an Apple fan said, graphics cards are so expensive. If you could buy a $600 console or $500 console with performance of a 5700 XT, just that graphics card alone would be more than enough to sustain like 4K 60 gap graphics gaming because that, that thing's on par with my Radeon 7, so it can easily do 4K 60. I can rise. I can run rice on room at 4K 60. No problem on it. And the power it, it gives credence to it because it's using. Let's say Marcus, like they said, they they're targeting 250 250 watts to 300 watts out of the wall. So obviously the thing's consuming a lot of power. So it's gonna have a lot of graphical power. If it so, if it has, oh, go ahead. Out of curiosity, you're saying that you think the reason that they're not showing the back is because there is 
an adapter that you can plug in a, an external graphics card. That's a speculation by the PC gaming community. Right. Because um, I, I feel like yeah. that would be like is it just is the graphics card just gonna hang on the back of it? Like um, I'm gonna get to that. I'm I'm gonna I'm, I got an I, I got a really good idea how that would work. So like you remember I said earlier there's gonna be a X you know a console mode and a Windows mode. Now it's not gonna say Windows is gonna be directly on the Xbox, right? That's not gonna be the thing. So how the Windows mode would work is let's say um, because um, right now Valve and Microsoft are pretty buddy buddy, just like Epic and Sony are really buddy buddy. Epic is getting some exclusives from Sony slowly. Valve is getting Xbox exclusives slowly. So there's this thing, you know, the PC gaming community is now saying, you know, it's going to be Epic and Sony versus Microsoft and Valve on the PC front. That's kind of happening right now. So what if in this Windows mode, um, you know, you can just use, it would allow you to use keyboard and mouse and you could jump into games um, and use keyboard and mouse, but you wouldn't have access to console players when you was using controllers. Whereas if you go into the console mode, you can just, you know, have the standard console experience similar to like the Steam Big Picture mode. And just plop in a controller, throw your discs in there, and you play them like that. Because it already has, because most, because it has the 4K Blu ray player, so you can still insert your discs like that. And most PCs, you can get a $30 Blu ray player and get them like, th and put them into the PC or anything like that. And, what makes this interesting for PC gamers is, be is Microsoft could get these chips cheap. Like I told Smooth earlier in the video, TMMC is already manufacturing chips. They're going with they're going with TMMC, which is producing chips for Zen 4, possibly, probably the next gen consoles, probably the big Navi, and probably the servers. They're building it all. So are they, they're already producing it. They're already starting the production of this. And um Shout out to more Cloud yeah, Tech USA. I quit PC gaming recently. <laughs> yeah, that. But here's the thing, though. Like, if if you can go, in, like, say the Windows mode will allow you to access Valve or something, and it's only exclusive in the Windows mode, so you could have access to all those eight thousand games. Like you said, it's move. You hate Valve. You don't want to do anything with that. So you could just keep the console mode on. You don't even have to turn the Windows mode on. Yeah, I, I don't know. I thought uh, the, the if all right. So I saw the video. I, the, the dude, what's his name? Uh, Morris Law. Is yeah. Dead. And I thought, as soon as he went in that direction, I just thought he was just kind of like, okay, he's kind of going like yeah, out I think there. It's the, I, I don't, thing, I don't believe it. Um, yeah, the one thing I think that is out there is the plugging the graphics card in because I don't think you really need that because if you think about it, um, let's say you want to, let's say, um, let's say that the um, the Xbox Series X is as strong as a 2080 a card that has three-year-old graphics card performance that's that's what it is it's just mm -hmm. a three-year-old graphics card performance it's as powerful as 2080 i don't think a pc gamer is gonna go out there and say hmm maybe i should get the new let's say rtx 3060 so that had the 3070 my, that has my um, take on like i thought like the only reason why i i would think uh, the series x would be attractive um to a pc gamer is that i feel like if it's true if these you know rumors and speculations is true that it's going to be you know you know rivaling a 2080 or 2080 ti something like in a, in a console at the price we're expecting it to be one should think like okay dudes that have like a 20 a pc from 2015 2016 like me is it worth it to upgrade uh your pc to match these consoles or to just buy the console and that's when i would think you know yeah yeah for those who are looking towards a, a like a like an upgrade or just see I, I think and i said this in my last video i was like if you're a pc gamer and you know quote unquote playing all the xbox games taking advantage of game pass but your pc is like not it's not like a, a beast it's capable mm -hmm. it's playing games yep. it's, but and then the series x turns out to be stronger than it at that point you can either upgrade your shit and you know, and continue that way, like or I, buy like a Series said, X and still have access to all the games that I you've think, been taking advantage of. I think the only thing on that's going to be appealing to a yeah. PC gamer is if they have options in the graphical yeah. settings to make everything 60 frames. That's the only way you're going to get these PC people off they they rigs. You yeah, said, wait, was, what's a, repeat the attic? What, what, oh, yeah, go ahead, so the only way that they're going to get these PC people off these uh, rigs mm -hmm. is making options. Every game has like a performance mode that you could play 60 frames and. I ain't gonna lie, um, that 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 is so horrible. Like, I, I like, I'm well, I'm limited to two options. Give me, all right, all right. I either play. This is what I'm looking for 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 his consoles, right? 
Like, I, I, I understand the options that the Xbox One X and PS4 Pro options, either frame rate or resolution, right? Now, I suspect for PS5 and the Xbox Series X, the options to be ray tracing or no ray tracing. And if you do ray tracing, you compromise, I don't know, like freaking maybe frame rate. Like, or if mm-hmm. you do like stuff like that, that's the only thing. Like, because the thing is, this is like, I think. The first example will be Forza Motorsports 8. I, I, I'm almost mm-hmm. certain that's a go. And I feel like what Forza Motorsports 8 is going to have is 4K, <laughs> 60, ray tracing, right? Or the option to turn off ray tracing and achieve 4K, 120 frames per second. That's, I think that's what that, I think is going to happen. Mm-hmm. I think you're going to see this next coming up gen. Uh, you know, I think they Microsoft's been listening to everyone's feedback. I mm-hmm. believe that... Uh, you're gonna. I mean, we're already starting to see a more diverse library. Would you not agree? With oh yeah, absolutely. The, so the, I yeah. think that's one of the things that they even have genres that Sony doesn't have. They have more genres that Sony has currently. Like you know, they they have a uh, an RPG studio that makes multiple games. That I don't. Yep. Does, I don't think Sony has that. Um, you know, obviously they got you know the Fours of the Halo, the Gears. They have that sci-fi thing with um, you know the Outer Worlds. They even have the Ninja Theory, and I think Ninja Theory can be, you know, not necessarily make the same type of games as Naughty Dog, but I think, you know, as long as that studio is green mm-hmm. properly and they have the the right talent, and not only get the right talent, but train the right talent as well from yep. from the ground up, it could be on the level with Naughty Dog in five years. Uh, but, you know, uh, next finishing my thoughts on the uh, the tech, I'll let you guys talk about the games after that. Um, is they made a good point is like think about it let's say like i said earlier if the 3070 comes out and it's 600 dollars, yet the uh the xbox one x has all the stuff in it and it's 600 dollars <laughs> because microsoft could pay like 50 dollars for the gpu they, they get the cheaper cost for all this stuff mm. so obviously if a pc gamer says okay why would i get an xbox one i have all my games on pc what's this windows mode doing like if microsoft comes down and says okay we did Windows like this, like Microsoft, let's say Phil Spencer does his announcement, like in 2015, he's like, we're doing Windows 10, and then in the new thing, he's he's like, we bridged the gap for PC and console. Like, he does a speech like I that. Feel, I feel like that that's a fairy tale because at the same <laughs> yeah, time, yeah, I, like, I don't. It's they're, all they're speculation putting, on the gaming the, community. They're putting games on PC because they don't want the PC people coming over to console. Like, uh, what so, do you think about the um, attic? What do you think about um, how this rivalry between Sony and Microsoft is happening on PC, where Microsoft and Valve are teaming up, and Epic and Sony are teaming up? I don't necessarily think that happened. I think Microsoft realized that their platform was failing on PC, and they went with mm-hmm. Steam because they offered them a lower cut. And yeah. Sony was already doing stuff with Epic. With Epic, I, I, pers- just with them. I, I personally think that you know, I don't think that happened intentionally. Mm-hmm. No. It just it was a coincidence. It just happened. Uh, because because Epic's throwing their money around, and that's probably what cost. And in the eyes, in, in, in the, the time, eyes of Epic the wants <laughs> exclusivity on games. In the yeah, eyes of the entitled PC gamers, you know, you know how they feel about Epic and how they're so in love with and like, I, Steam. Dude, I have forty it, games from Epic, and they've all been free. The they've movie. given me so many free games; it's ridiculous. <laughs> They are trying right now to just get into the PC market. And the worst thing that Microsoft can do is to sign an exclusivity deal with probably one of the worst hated launchers on the internet, which, you know, obviously the hardcores. Uh, It still sells well, regardless of how people feel about Epic. Uh, you know the hardcore, hardcore PC people yeah. is just like the uh, the consumer base on the consoles. The 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 minority speaks the loudest. You know, uh, origin because clearly had, they're um, still selling. You know, you oh, know, you, or you, got a, you got a super chat real quick. Yeah. I'll go ahead and read that. Xbox Tony Wood twenty five says Xbox doesn't need specs; they need innovation. Mods for um, FPS would be new for console gamers. I like to game with um, cross characters and weapons. See, um, but Tony, Microsoft's already started doing that. Yeah, you know, they, the, the, they were the first they were really the first consoles to, like, to like, Bethesda on yeah. with with modding support. Yeah, yeah so, they, and and Sony kind of blocked it where you had to download like a certain amount of gigabytes to get it, and had to be like approved by well, Sony no, to get it, the mod. It used to be they didn't allow it at all. And yeah, and then they backlash, made an they exception with Beth- Bethesda, obviously, because it was you know making rounds yeah, and stuff. and and addict, have you ever used Origin on PC or ever dabbled with it? Uh huh. Yeah, like the thing is, like they did like a survey, like who uses that. Yeah, like they did a survey where like who uses Origin, Uh, and like like a like a very minuscule amount of PC gamers have ever used Origin. Oh man, I'm I'm gonna mess up this name. Earth 
50 grays? Oh, er, dude. Er, er I think er, it's a Freedy. A Freedy. A Freedy grays with the $2 super chat. Super will Steam chat, be please. on Xbox? What's the prediction? Uh, I do not think Steam, no. No. Steam, Steam super chat. Will Steam be on Xbox? What's the prediction? Steam will not be on Xbox. Um, that's, um, yeah, because that's one prediction PC gamers would say. They're like, if there's a Windows mode on PC, on Xbox, right? If it has Steam, then they might move over there. But unless but the reason the reason I'm saying it's attractive to PC gamers is if Microsoft does have a Windows mode, mine is Valve, but it gives you like a you know a keyboard and mouse experience on the console games, but you can't play with console gamers with controllers. That might be appealing to PC gamers because graphics cards are so expensive right now from AMD and Nvidia that Xbox at this point would be the better value. If there was a Windows mode that would attract PC gamers because they love their keyboard and mouse and stuff. The like biggest that. thing that's going to attract. I honestly don't think I because it, then it would just completely eliminate the need for like a. Then what, what what would they be doing with a series like S or whatever like that? I, like, that's why I, I don't I think like if you look at that. that's why the reason PC gaming is talking about the Series X is because look at the console. It looks like a desktop the way it's it, shaped. It kind of has to if, if it's going to be. It was designed that this. way to, to mm -hmm. for power wise, not for appealing wise. Uh, I think the biggest thing that is going to attribute to Microsoft doing well in next gen, if they do, obviously I'm not going to say they're going to beat anyone. Mm -hmm. uh, I personally feel like every generation is a fresh start. Mm -hmm. Con uh, console games, especially, is what are you doing for me right now? Yeah. And going into next gen, they're going to see launch titles. Right now, you know, to my personal opinion, we don't know much about Sony. Obviously, they haven't even announced. They the have console. Godfall. That's all they've announced. So, like Microsoft has what Halo but, Infinite but and maybe. To, to my opinion, if you're going to let something like Godfall be announced yeah. as an exclusive to the mm -hmm. PS5, yep. I personally don't see you having much because you <laughs> yeah. let that get announced as the first PS5 exclusive. Yeah, I don't know. We'll have Next to three. <laughs> but one thing that people don't really bring up a whole lot: this is the first generation, first console yeah. launch that Game Pass is going to be there from the day one. And mm -hmm. I think that's going to matter because I think they're going to bundle one to three months with every console sold. And, you know, going in there, it's not necessarily, if, if you buy the, the bigger console, if you buy the Series X, you don't have to buy a game with it. You can literally go in there, pick up that X, go home, and you automatically have Halo Infinite and you only had to buy the console. So do you think that um, Game Pass is going to go to Netflix? Off? Where Netflix, I think, started out at like seven ninety nine really cheap now they've gone up to like you know almost 20 bucks a month because you the know thing, the difference with netflix though netflix had to do that because netflix started offering their services to multiple people and not just one game yeah. pass you know you could right now i don't know one thing i'd like to know is that they're gonna have the game sharing thing going in the next gen i don't yeah. know uh me and kid because <laughs> he pays for game pass and i have it for like two years yeah do you remember uh, how the PS3 had um, game sharing where you could have like two, three accounts or something? I remember having that on PS3. I thought that was awesome. But when I got the PS4, it was like limited to like two or one. I think it was one. You could have someone uh, is online and the other person had to be offline. Efforty Gray says uh, for $2, I just want to play Counter Strike on Series X. LOL. Yeah, see? Uh, so, you guys well, how, okay, how about this? Addict and Smooth, what would you think if, if Microsoft came out at next year's E3 and they said the Series X? Well, it, it's not going to, let's say it doesn't support the external graphics card thing. That's just make believe fairy tale by the PC gaming community that, that they're wishing for. But it has a Windows mode. They're going to say it's have a Windows mode. It will support Steam games in this Windows mode, but it'll have a console mode for the regular casual gamers. What do you think of if they announce something like that? I don't like think that? they do that. I don't but think it, they do that. You know, it, it would it would appeal to a certain amount of people. But I think that, that demographic's small. Think it would, I think for the most very part... Very small demographic. If, if people want to play PC games, they're going to play it on their PC. Well, here's the thing about <laughs> PC hardware. Um, um, there was um, PC hardware alone is like $10 billion. So they're they're looking in... If they do this, they, they might have access to a $10 billion in, um, market right there. And, I, and I think it's... I, I just don't think it's necessary. <clears throat> if, 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 if Steam games... If Steam games are played on a hardware, it's going to be from an app. It's not going to be from like a yeah. Windows. Yeah, obviously. The it's only an app. way like I see it's Steam a Windows going mode. on sort of Xbox or at any four inch if the Series X somehow supported Oculus or some shit like that. That's the only or mm -hmm. their VR system. That's the only. Do you thing. think? Do you think it would be pointless to own the Xbox if it had like a Windows mode, so it's PC like, but then there's like the standard console mode, which would just be you know the standard yeah, Xbox. Yeah, right yeah. There. it would be kind of stupid. It's not really necessary at that point because. It, it, because PCs exist, it, it, what? Why make a pretty much, uh, pretty much just a? Well, it, it's I, like I, I said it, earlier. It really the graphics cards are too expensive. PC gaming is too expensive. So the yeah, Xbox but if they, has so a what, market so it can get how into. is that going to solve the graphic cards problem if they're still going to be able to just buy a graphics card and put it in here? 
pretty much. Oh, like I said earlier, would you want to pay? Would you want to pay seven hundred dollars for a graphics card load? Then you have to buy the PC itself and all the hardware, which would probably lend you around twelve hundred dollars. Would you just want to get the Xbox Series X, which could carry over your Steam library? For only six hundred dollars, I, I, I think the demographic that cares about power like that's small. Uh, you know, you got your Kofi's that want to have the twenty eighty Ti's and yeah. your BGs that want to be maxed out on everything to you know go chain gaming. But I think for the most people, people just want to come home and play on the game. Uh, most of the time, I, I guarantee you, which I don't have no stats. I don't know. I don't play PC gaming that much. Yeah. They just stick on a lot of the you know if they PC game. Because I used to not think that there was a such thing as a casual PC gamer, but there's a lot of people that oh, just no, play. No, no, no. And there's a it, the thing is a lot of PC gamers who are children mostly game for, but they want to you know spend their Christmas money on these graphics cards when let's say you know the the graphics cards are too expensive now they can't afford to like one of my clients they said that their son can't afford a graphics card be, because you know he wants to play Fortnite but he, he has to use like an APU so I'm like well but to be fair own- like you can run. You could run Fortnite on a on a toaster, so why do they need like a crazy graphics card to play that? Like, just think about like just the, a five seventy would be plenty. Th- th- think about the best games that's on PC. None of them take much to run. Yeah. Um. I mean, if you look at my Steam library, I have at least five hundred games. There's a lot of graphically demanding games that look beautiful on them, on the home. And you know what? But it. I mean, I asked you guys the question. It doesn't hurt you if they have this option as a Windows option. It's just a mode, but you can still use the console mode. So, would it? Do you think it would devalue the console to you if they had this Windows mode available, but you didn't have to use it? Dude, I I think it would be something nice to have if it wasn't like marketed. Like, it'd just be like some sort of thing that oh, you could do this, Control Alt Delete your Xbox or some shit like that, and it's just oh, something there. I don't think it should. I don't honestly no. I don't think it's it's po- it's completely pointless. It's completely. Well, it, especially- it would be like a Windows mode where you could like move. It'd still be like the Xbox dashboard, but you could download Steam as an app. And if someone tried to launch it, it says, "Would you like to go into Windows just, mode on Xbox or something I like that?" I just don't think. Sounds that very confusing. Stuff. Like I feel like maybe that would be a, a possibility if they didn't put their games on Steam. But I feel like they don't try to get the PC yeah. consumer base. Yes, it goes. Ag- it goes against. Yeah, PC. it goes against their whole freaking strategy. Uh, by doing that like it's like because well, their strategy has been mostly like bringing you know pc and xbox together with the x cloud the windows 10 pc games bring their games to steam they're kind of they're kind of going down this road already it's, no it's about pretty much bringing their content to wherever Everywhere. you are so i don't think by adding a a, a steam option or steam or, like or just a windows mode UI doesn't even have or to be win- or windows it. mode to the xbox is going to like mm-hmm. really do that they already know who's buying the xbox series x and they expect all the people that bought the xbox one x yeah. but uh, do you think do they'd be satisfied with maybe like let's say there's 35 million xbox one game uh, xbox gamers who want to buy the console you still don't think they want to jump into that 10 billion dollar pc market well, or do you think they just, want to no, just put their software where their the pc gamers are at so they just want to stick with the software you think it won't affect well, the they, console they they're going to use game pass to sell everything they're going to try to use game pass to be okay if you want to if you want to play our stuff on pc we got that for you. and they know that a lot of pc people are stubborn mm-hmm. and they'll buy it on steam just so they don't have to put just because that's where they want to play it and that's fine uh they're going to use the console market it's like okay if you because uh, i don't think that they know that they're they're hurting this going in this generation they know that so many people jumped on the playstation 4 last uh this gen uh so i think that right now their priorities okay you can have us as a second console for right now mm-hmm. and you don't even have to pay for our game just keep our subscription service yeah personally that, these... they're just trying to get in houses at this point yeah like, personally Personally, addict, I think um, I don't. These are all conspiracy theories. I thought I thought it was interesting. I'm like, okay, they they could appeal to the PC community, but I would say the only way they could do that as a conspiracy, like I don't care about all this stuff. I think they should do it like maybe with this Windows mode. If they like, as those guys, as these PC guys are talking about, if they, I, I and I asked, I I asked PC guys, I asked them, I did a poll. I said, how why would how would you buy an Xbox Series X? They said it needs a Windows mode and it needs Steam. So that's that's how they would buy because. I asked them, I said, I said, are GPU prices too high? Would you buy an Xbox Series X? They said if it was powerful, cheaper, had a Windows mode, and had Steam. That's what they would do to buy it. That's what I did a survey on, asking people. I still think the majority of uh, PC people, they're not leaving that rig. Uh, You know, they they might get a console 
if it didn't come to their platform, but it's in their, the, you know, the games are going to their platform. Yeah, Microsoft. I mean, if there's, like, like I said, if, the only if way, the whole library of Steam I'll is there, then they might be more convinced to buy it. I'll but. repeat this one more time. The only way I see really <laughs> it being an option for PC game, I don't think Microsoft's going to do all that shit to their box just to get, like, no. get somebody off there on PC. The only way I see it doing it is that because the cost to upgrade the PC it is it, it, far greater than getting the Xbox Series X. And if you're already in the Xbox ecosystem mm -hmm. on PC, like a lot of these guys claim they are, then yep. it will be kind of a no-brainer because they're not losing anything. They're not losing save yeah. files. They're not losing games. They're not... It, it, that's that it would that's where it's like okay why not mm -hmm. but that's like just the on the small really minority i see where that could be an option but uh, me personally oh. like how i look at the xbox i want the xbox series x to be a beast because i want the the the, the best option i'm getting playstation 5 and xbox day one regardless <laughs> on what day i'm only getting one day one i'm not getting both um, I, I feel like PlayStation earned my respect this generation. You got a five dollar super chat super from Tony. Chat. Hey, it just, just came in like a two Series seconds X ago. Series X should make <laughs> a Star Troop, uh, a Starship Troopers <laughs> game with the Gears engine. Also includes a Uber mode for the next Forza, y'all. Remember Tech Crazy Taxi? Crazy Taxi. Actually, no, no, no on the real. Ever play Crazy Taxi? Addict? That would be that would be kind of funny if they made like yeah. a little side thing. Well, the, the Unreal Where Engine like, Four, like you have to Gears rush engine. people with like as an Uber okay. service to serve addresses at a certain amount of time did you see the forza what was it the battle royale forza have you guys tried that yet uh, no, no that's a forza oh, horizon dude. thing i want to play it uh, i really do is it which play horizon it. is it is, is it's it horizon it? 4 it's horizon 4 yeah, oh, horizon 4 yeah. okay that look I, I thought that was crazy that was cool i think that their thing is right now is just establishing brand again they lost it this gen i don't think they're gonna try to make all this you know mix messaging that goes uh that you know that wholly uh conspired which i'm well not i was just debunking but, this list of the ps5 thing and then i'm but, just like hey, you know, what i think what? that these are the pc gamers demands they're like we want a windows mobile I whatever that other stuff is so i think their biggest thing is <laughs> they just want to be recognized as a gaming brand again mm -hmm. uh because this generation hurt their brand a lot you know Phil Spencer yeah. has done as much as he can to, like that. to remedy it. He's brought stuff that's been exclusively on other platforms. Oh, you got another generation. super chat. Efri uh, Grief says, I have I to can't. keep pay paying $2,000 for a PC. Give me Xbox. Mm, there you go, price. Yeah. Okay. I'll so, go ahead. You know, at the end of the day, we'll have to see what they do. Uh, right now, I want to see what PlayStation's launch titles are. Mm -hmm. My personal opinion, I, I don't think it's going to be that great because no. they let God hand get announced as a playstation 5 yeah think about it that's the first exclusive that's the first ps5 game they showed effort games <laughs> i keep i keep we already, read, this this we already read it move. oh damn well good. yeah he, he doesn't uh want to keep paying two thousand dollars for a pc, PC. And you don't you have, have 4k yeah i got like nine hundred dollars in my pc and i ain't really Dude, see I, yeah my now. pc costed me uh i bet when did i build, when did i build mine 2016 you, you have the 980 ti so like you yeah know, but the it cost me like Fifteen or sixteen hundred like at the time. For, yeah. yeah, but you, I, you, you didn't pay. You didn't pay for all yours at once. You got on a credit card. Didn't and, you? No, yeah, it was my cat. I don't have a credit card. Didn't you build it yourself? Uh, so I didn't know. Yeah, yeah, like I don't. I, like, I don't. I personally don't have a credit card. Yeah, it was I, cash. I remember I, that. Who put his graphics <laughs> card in and it was backwards? And he's like, "Why isn't this?" Thing? No, it the graphic <laughs> card. All right, no, graphic card is only backwards because the the um well you you upgraded the, 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 the what's the gonna call it? What you call it? The fucking um the motherboard. The motherboard is like upside down. Yeah. Oh yeah, them. Yeah, yeah. And the GPU that was originally in there, um, in the um, it was a it was yeah. a nine sixty, and I and I sold that, and I got. Yeah, rid I took that out. You guys, do yeah. you think? Uh, oh yeah. Do you think Sony is actually going to buy Bethesda? That rumor going? No. I heard that rumor. Yeah. No. The thing, no. The Bethesda with all their what? bad credit. Question. Question is Bethesda like going out of business or something? <laughs> no, but I wouldn't they're, be surprised. They're if they're really hurting. bad. I wouldn't be surprised that they're hurting. I mean, you got to think of it. All their games haven't been selling. Wolfenstein didn't. Because all their well. games are trash. Um, all they got left, though, they had good probably game. good is Doom Eternal. No, dude, the their last, cool. like, you got to think about it. Fall Four was at Fall Seventy Six shit, and it happened. Their last really good game was really um, they, Skyrim. A lot of people say <laughs> Doom and all this other shit, but um, they really nah, Skyrim like six times. I mean. Yeah. I, I enjoyed all the Dishonored, but they didn't sell well. Uh, no. You know, Wolfenstein. People love those games. Oh, they didn't it, sell um, well. Was that was that alien game where you go around and you have to kill these black creatures and stuff like that? Was that? Um, oh, pray, pray, pray. That didn't sell well. Nope. 
you know, uh, Fallout 4 did okay. You did probably pretty well decent, either. But it was, you know, a lot of Fallout fans, including myself, consider it one of the worst Fallouts that's been, that's been made. So I, I feel like it's a very big possibility they're mm-hmm. looking around and shop around. Because, yeah. you know, they try to take on a publishing row, mm-hmm. and it doesn't look like it worked out for them. Yeah, they published a lot. Of games. I just I just wasn't a fan of like no. the game. Like, it, like, now, what happened? But that's this microtransaction like, thing with their subscription. You know, they had you had to pay for a private server, oh, and yeah, then they come to find out yeah. it isn't private server at all. You're paying like ten dollars a month for no private servers. It was now. Bull- what what do you think if Google buys it? Buy for Bethesda, Stadia, then, then M- uh, match made in heaven. It gives yeah. them guaranteed content. It guarantees their Stadia to flop more. But I don't. I don't Which think you, even if Fallout Four was their best-selling game for Bethesda, what does that really say, Mike? At the end of the day, like we just stated, like the last six, seven years of their games, nothing selling well. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty sure Skyrim sold better than Fallout Four, which I probably am wrong. Uh, you, you know, I didn't look into oh, anything. Got like a new that. super chat. Uh, uh, will the initiative make a God of War type of game? I don't believe. The, that. From what I, I don't mm. believe that the didn't they release a teaser trailer on Twitter no, for no the no it's, there's some like concept art that's like uh, oh, yeah, leaking around, art, but I'm not sure if it's um, legit. Um, it's supposed to be a survival horror game, third mm. uh, third person survival horror. I'm not sure, but it's a it's a quad game, right? Well, a a the, double the AA game talent. or something. The amount of talent that's being hired for this that's studio, super the height that's went into the War studio. Directors leave initiative recently? The God of War Directors left initiative recently? Or who was the guy that left the initiative? All recently? I know... No, it was a woman it, that recently a left. A woman, she yeah. Got a, uh, she All got, I know she is took another discount, role somewhere. Is mm-hmm. if initiative doesn't... Have, if their first game out the bat with this talent that they've been poaching, uh, all the hype with this game, the studio, I gotta say... A nine or above on Metacritic, or it's an L. I'm no, sorry, uh, like, uh, yeah. dude. They, well, they said quadruple at, A. Doesn't matter. It, it never has to do with sales. But it doesn't. Like most it, it doesn't matter. And you, you know me. I, I, I'm not really the biggest fan of you know double A, single A, triple A. But they literally went above and said quadruple A. They've been hiring some of the best talent in the industry. This game better come out and be a a, a, a star run, man. A hit and run. <laughs> Like, think about it, kid. Like, they literally have some of the best talent in the industry. Mm-hmm. So in does Playground. Yeah, so so, people, so yeah. does Playground Second Studio. They got um, some uh, amazing talent. I think they're going to put out something quality. Like, now, I don't care whatever gaming journalist decides not to give the shit a 9 out of uh, a 10. I don't think that's going to determine what's going to uh, justify. Yeah, rating. Because what would you consider Spider-Man? Spider- Sp- the, uh, Spider-Man didn't get like a, a nine. It was an average. Because that game didn't seven. deserve to be above a nine. Yeah, average, what was, but uh, remember what, the, what would you the uh, consider the quality? Remember the Order 1886? The game got hammered by the media, See, got terrible reviews, yeah, still yeah, sold a million copies. I understand you because I personally felt like, yeah. you know, it, Gears 5 I, I love that game so much. Eight, I seven, eight, eight. Uh, but you know, if a game gets above a nine, it's because of quality. Like you know, I think anything Not above an eighty-five like, is quality. I think anything above an eighty-five is quality game. There's some um, games in the nineties I didn't really care for, but that's just me. Like I have a preference, even though I play everything. You know, I, some I don't games think, I don't really. I don't. Th- I think Breath of the Wild got like a ninety-seven, didn't it? Ninety-seven, ninety-five around it's there. It's a good game. It's just I think eight it's out like, of ten because it's kind of barren in some ways. I think it's like an eight-nine. Yeah. Best. Eight. At best, because yeah. it wasn't really a Zelda game. It was just like had Zelda elements. Mm. And the reason I liked it, I didn't really care for the other Zelda games as much, but I thought this open world aspect was kind of different, and I kind of liked that. Um, so, Kirker Day uh, Roosters said the Xbox Series X will destroy the PS5 in terms of power and performance, so we'll get some PlayStation fans who want power. According uh, to this chart we've the, looked at, it's true. I believe that the power aspect does come to a point with a lot of stuff when it comes to third party stuff uh but people really mainly want games and you know i don't necessarily think the reason people jumped over the playstation 4 at the beginning of the generation was the fact that xbox had no games it was the fact that xbox was dragged through the dirt rightfully so it was more expensive too that too because of big hitter because of all the bad communication they had uh you know they they you can't do it a 180 like they did and i have no repercussions uh, look at the wii the wii was the cheapest console that came out last generation it was cheaper it was like two it was like 200 250 for certain the bundles was and it sold the most ago. and it was very it's like oh look it's gimmicky and nobody and a lot of people like the switch there was a lot of shovelware for the console like there was a lot of ports 
It's because you know s sometimes gimmicky stuff sells. There's like a, there's like Call of Duty games on the Wii that looked horrendous, but they still got ported over there. You know, I I right now I'm getting an, a Series X day one uh, because it's looking like they're not going to do like infinite crossplay. I don't believe they will. Uh, and I, What's the infinite? What do you mean infinite crossplay? What do you mean? Like they're not going to do oh infinite Halo Infinite crossplay? crossplay? Yeah. Yeah. Why 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 you don't mean. think that's going to happen? Because Reach didn't have crossplay. Well, that's because well, that's, that's because all, um, so one is so that's that's the Master really... Chief Collection isn't complete on PC yet, so they're kind of like we have to finish ironing out the rest I, of the games. I, I fully Probably. believe if they wanted to, they could have done mm -hmm. that. Yeah, but they, it's not. They don't even got but, all the games on there yet. And yeah, they kind of all the is it all the multiplayer like the intersection? Well, they don't have. Built, like, I just they, think that if they were able to, they could. But they, they probably they, could, they but I don't think Halo I don't think that I don't like think, audio bugs. I don't think that has anything that to do with Halo now. Halo Infinite, though. I really don't think that. I mean, we'll have to see. I don't think it's gonna have crossplay. Uh, but you know, I'm gonna get a Series X because you know, obviously, you and Zachary are gonna be on console, and I I try to get you to play Reach on. I'm not PC. playing that. Shit on I'm, PC. I've asked him. He's like, I'm. I'm yeah. He's like, it's too well, outdated. He said it's too that. outdated. And right now, you know. I'm gonna get a PlayStation when God of War 2 comes out. That's that's where I am right now. So in 2022, or 2022. unless they have something else that comes out before then, yeah. Horizon Zero Dawn 2, but you probably you don't like Horizon. Did you? I did. It's something Horizon I didn't like. was Horizon good. I think dragged on for me. Was good. I platinum did because I just I didn't play the I, DLC. What I really I wanted people that. to do is stop with this whole uh, it's, uh, like you know about the games. Oh, they can have the powers about the games, but there's one there's one certain right now. We already know that the Xbox Series, we have you know what's three funny? Xbox the same Series people, X the games same. so far that we the know of, that we saw, that's been revealed. Like so, The, the same people that are saying it's about the games are the same people telling me launch titles don't matter. Because <laughs> every time I bring that up, like, we know the games are coming. Yeah. Then why are you going to buy a console that you don't even need to buy at that time? If there's nothing yeah. you want to play on next gen. I want, yeah. I want, yeah. I mean, All, the majority of these games are going to be cross Play. I'm in a minority that historically when I've gotten like consoles like like right when they came out, I've enjoyed the, those particular lunch time uh, um lunch titles. Um like I oh. there was like there was like three like there was three Smooth, legit I wanna games answer this question guy had he said what Xbox about Smooth lying about PC sales and charts? What? How did I lie um, about PC sales and charts? Uh, the one, the one chart you were misled. Okay, I know he's talking about the one chart you said were mostly PC gamers owned a 1060. I guess <laughs> that's old. The new survey, I'll correct. The new survey says most PC gamers are now, you know, they're upgrading to 2060s and 2070s and 1660 Ti's. And I guess PC games not selling well. That's already. I fake. don't. I don't even think that was me though. I, that was probably what's just I don't know. That wasn't me that. though. Like I, I no, don't I, I don't I don't chart I don't check what PC get what cards PC gamers are using. I really it don't. It just goes off raw emotion. So yeah. No, I, no, I, no. But I, it, that wasn't my quote. No, so and then, I could no. That's probably I don't know some other Xbox guy I was talking about. But um, it, I, I get debugged that right now. Halo Reach sold three million on PC in like a couple like a, what, a week or something. So Mike Larry said rumor GTA Six is supposed to be a time exclusive for the PS Five. That'd be oh, yeah, that's a I highly movie. doubt that, but that'd be interesting. <laughs> I mean, the re the reason that might have credence is because if you look at the PS Two GTA, wasn't exclusive for that. Yeah, for that's a while. because it, there was no because really there was no competition. Uh, competition really. Yeah, good. that's the only reason that's I can see them like stuff like Tomb Raider and that. Tomb Raider and Final Fantasy and Kingdom Hearts is exclusive because yeah. their competition couldn't run those games. Yeah, that's that's how it is. Um, uh, moving on to one thing, what is? I wanted to ask you guys, what are your top ten most anticipated games of 2020? I don't have one yet. Final um, Fantasy VII. I, I'll Final be Final able to talk about VII. that shit. Mm. More Final Fantasy VII. A little yeah, bit more Final Fantasy VII. That, probably, uh, not not to lie to you guys, and I know people are going to look at me crazy, but I'm being real. I mean, I have more interest then the brand new consoles that are coming that I have of any of the games that's coming out in 2020. See, it's all about you. You'll be, you so I'm, if you're actually if you're actually a PC gamer, you'd be upgrading a lot. You'd be like, oh, the new like Hard Eight. He's always upgrading. So we got a two dollars super chat from Tony, Tony, Tony Woods. Wood, Cuphead Two cannot go multiply. It's a hit now. <clears throat> that Cuphead DLC is coming out too. Are you hyped for that? Uh, it's no taking day. them too damn long for that. Shit. Yeah. It's, <laughs> but, what two years later or three? Jeez. Came out September um, I'll 2017. Do, I'll do my ten if you want. Um, go ahead. This one's that some people are. This is going under the radar. Destroy All Humans remake. I played that at E3. It was pretty fun. 
I, oh, destroy I, all humans. It, oh, oh yeah, I yeah. heard about that. The game like why? What's it looks good. So long? Um, one game I'm I'm like like Kofi was saying he's like hyped for, it, but I'm very skeptical. I put on the list just in case. Dragon Ball Z Kakarot. Uh, I'm sorry guys if, about my expressions, but but the Patriots are about to lose to the bum ass, dirty ass Titans, and it's starting to piss <laughs> me off, yo. Uh, that's true. And um, then my my other choice, I don't know if you guys are gonna get a Cyberpunk seventy seven. You I'm think? Cyberpunk's 2077. Uh, Dying Light. I'm looking forward to Dying Light. When's that come out? Dying Light. Uh, it's coming out spring, so it's coming out soon. Definitely coming out soon. Um, obviously Resident Evil 3. I just saw the leak. I saw the trailer for that. That looks good. Because I do like... I, I never finished the Resident, Resident Evil 3 the original because I was a kid back then. But I do want to go back and beat the remake for that. Um, obviously Last of Us Part 2 is lower on my list because they, you know, they canceled the multiplayer. So it's not as high as it could be, um, on that choice. Uh, another one is, um, Tales of Arise. I don't know if you guys are a fan of the Tales franchise. Mm, but, no, I, like, I tried. I like um, the year, reason yeah. I like Tales of Arise, they're finally getting a new graphical engine. The battles will be in the world instead of, like, a random sequence where you have to, like, wait in a loading screen and stuff like that. So they're finally getting, a a new um graphical engine going for that um definitely doom eternal i love doom even though i know some people aren't a huge fan of that but that's like but does this last chance with me if that game is actually going to be good or not but it does look good with the new tools they've added kind of gives like a bullet storm isk feel to it even though some people compare it and then i think my last game the, the game i'm most hyped for is probably halo infinite um i know halo 5 had great multiplayer but a trash story but mm -hmm. The uh, um, Halo Infinite, I did like a video about this. Halo Infinite, um, they're going to do it on the ring where the precursors allegedly got, like this one precursor got locked up at, and the precursors are what the flood became. That's what the book said. So if Jesus is going to this ring where like the precursors were and he's gonna, possibly going to meet one there, because if you beat Halo 5 and Legendary, it does show a Halo ring. And if it's that Halo ring, the story would be really good. And then he split screen. They're going to release it on... A next gen console, so obviously it should be powerful enough to run its split screen. Heck, the coalition showed him how to do it. Yeah, the I mean, I don't the really coalition care about showed him how to like do it. Split screen, personally, because I don't see myself uh, playing. I it mostly, at all. mostly, I like. Um, I'll buy a game again on a console. Um, it usually, if it comes to the console first, or if it has like a feature like split screen, then that's a reason I might buy it there. So, like, if. Halo Infinite, you know, obviously, like, the other Halo games don't have split-screen on PC. I'll just play with my brother on the console, because he likes to play it in split-screen instead of, like, a LAN party. Gotcha. Um, did you guys beat any trash games this year? Like, what would you say were your worst games you played this year, if any? Control. Con yeah, I, I agree. I didn't really care for that. No, the worst game I beat this year... Or even tried to play. Or in 2019, was um... It was either... Jack and Jill DX or um, Iron Snout. Oh, Iron Snout. I remember that pig game and, you played. Was that Iron Snout? Uh, Iron Snout. Um, Redeemer oh, yeah. was, wasn't the greatest. Um, but yeah, everything else I, I didn't mind. I actually had fun with yeah, hearing uh, Kids Move Rage the Control was pretty funny too. <laughs> I'm surprised. Control Did was like IGN's Kong game of the year. That a lot. Did you like Sekiro? You raised it that a lot. I, I enjoyed Sekiro for what it was. Sekiro for, was for my game of the year too. Yeah, I put it at like I probably put that at like my number two best game of this year. Um, I one game that was under the radar. Uh, my top ten probably worst games was probably Anthem. Uh, remember Smooth? I, I I said this when we we did Planet Xbox. Remember Anthem fried my Xbox? Yeah, yeah, I remember you said. And that. I had to go out and buy. I I said I said fuck it, I'm gonna go out and buy an X. And then that whole uh, that whole thing happened. And then um, another one is called Rico R I C O. It's like this. It's supposed to be like a Doom isk clone on PC, and it was terrible. Even though it's supposed to say like, even though it said it like had like split screen, it was really bad. Uh, another one was um, Fate Extella Link. If you ever watched the Fate anime, it's supposed to be like a Dynasty Warriors isk game, but it was it was really tedious and bad. Even though I like kind of Dynasty Warriors, it was really Poor choice for game. Anthem deserves Anthem. to go in. That was Michael says that I play Remnant yet. Uh, yeah, I, I, I tried. Yeah, I wasn't really Remnant's feeling it. Remnant's okay. 
Anthony deserves to go on a vote. Well, it does. If it goes to the vault, I might actually, you know. No, I'm not talking about that vault. Oh. I'm talking about it deserves going to vault with the worst games. In it does. I made it my number one game of the year because there's no game I ever played that broke a console. That's that ever happened. Another one is probably the Khalifa effect. It's kind of like a. It's just a JRPG I tried out, and I was like, it's a, it's it said like a unique combat system. So I said, all right, let me all give right. this a shot, and its combat system was horrible. Fuck. Hold on. <laughs> Don't break your desk. Move. Are the Titan are the Titans winning? Thanks, move went out. Guy's still there. Yeah, he. I don't know what happened. I think man. he got mad that the Titans might be winning. But another. Well, oh, tell him when right. he gets back. I gotta go because I get ready for. Work. All right. Sorry about. Um. Gotcha. Uh, I guess I'll keep going, guys. Uh, another one I went with was One Piece World Seeker. It's supposed to be an open world. One Piece game, but it's an empty world with nothing in it, and it, they charge a full sixty dollars for. It. That was trash. That was trash. That was garbage. Garbage. Uh, yeah, yeah, that was garbage game. Uh, besides Anthem, I don't know if any. I don't know if Anthem broke any of your guys' computers. Uh, another game I beat, uh, tried was Super Dragon Ball Heroes World Mission. Yeah, another Dragon Ball game, but I like Dragon Ball, but it was pretty trash. Oh. Addict had to go to work smooth. Do you want to end the stream the football, here? Football, yeah, I hate fucking. Did the football. Titans win? Yeah, the bitch ass, pussy ass, <laughs> south ass motherfuckers. Uh, like I can't I, stand. I'm not a Titans fan myself. Oh, yeah, I was just God. doing the worst games I ever played this year. A lot of trash. Mm. I'm about to punch somebody the fuck out, yo. Um, yeah, yeah, I'm gonna end the stream. One more super chat. Control pissed me off, but it was definitely fire. <sighs> oh, shit. How many points did they beat the. Uh, they got a last fucking second interception, like a garbage time interception because they're pussies and they ended up in the end zone. I threw my Xbox controller when the Saints lost that one game last year where they had that bad call that cost them the Super Bowl playoffs with the, with the Patriots. That would have been epic. Um, that would have been an epic uh, Super Bowl last year, then, if that happened. Oh, my God, yo. I can't fucking believe it. Well, I did. I, I bet. Said the Patriots would lose by three, but they ended up losing by, like, fucking so. Fucking dumbass yeah. shit, yo. What the fuck? I hell. Oh, my. Um, <laughs> yeah, uh, I think I lost the fucking YouTube link. Um, I don't know what happened to my browser. Yeah, Attic went to work. Good. But okay. All right. I think that's I think that's everything we talked about. It was a good chat. I debunked that PS5 sheet. We went into an idea of what the PC gamers want for mm -hmm. Xbox. But overall, I think it was a good stream. When do you think you're going to restart Planet Xbox again, Smooth? End of January? So probably. Um, yeah. I got to get over my... I'm, I'm saucy right now. You Guys, thanks for uh, to, uh, jumping in today. I will see you guys tomorrow. All right. Thanks, Holy One. Yep, thanks for having me, Smooth. Anytime.